Ladies and gentlemen, my friend, Douglas Kern. Miles Davis was guilty of self-confessed violent crimes against women, such that we ought to break his records, burn his tapes, and scratch up his CDs until he acknowledges and apologizes. Pro play. The trumpet's mouth is apology. Terrence Hayes. You just write a poem about your need to do that. Ahmad Jamal Johnson. Live evil. The pin's point comes down on the butterfly. The knuckle comes down on Miss Sicily. The mallet comes down on the CD case. Wait! The mallet comes down on the butterfly. The pin's point comes down on Miss Sissy. The knuckle comes down on the CD case. Ah! The knuckle comes down on the butterfly. The mallet comes down on Miss Sissy. The pin's point comes down on the CD case. Bam! The pin's point, the knuckle, the mallet, Damn it! the butterfly, Miss Sissy, the CD case. The rose's velvet plumes ripped the spit, but that beats some. The fiercest dazzling petals in the ash broad, but that hurts some. The martyr's ecstatic smile as the bowels give, but that saves something. What did we make? Listen to the butterfly. The pinpoint makes no sound. Sticking the felt shell, no brass whale, into the air. Here, it's silent as a necktie. This isn't quite right. Miss Sicily, a CD case. And the pinstripe three-piece, did he wear a pinstripe three-piece? Did she kiss his lapel with red lipstick? Did he stick her lips red? Did she kiss it? I threw out the liner notes. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes, he wore a pinstripe three-piece and a dazzling tie. The air was what bowels give. I have a mallet. Did he kiss her? Lips red? Did he stick her with a pin? Listen to the brass wave. Listen to the butterfly. The plastic breaks and the silence breaks. This is the song of a man thinking he can build a rose with a mallet, make an infant phoenix with a pin's point, be a martyr with knuckles. This is the song of a man who threw out the liner notes. He wore ash drawers. Wait a minute, damn it! Miss Sicily, why won't you wait? Listen to the sound of a man giving. What bowels give? He had a mallet and Oils in the hands cripple. The butterfly won't fly again, so butter wait, butter stay, butter still. My fists are felt. Shit, what have we made? Better wait and stay still. Listen to the song of a man in his three piece shell. It comes down. The pin is point, the knuckle, the mat. Wait a minute! No birthday, no saving, no feeding. Damn it! Listen to the song of a man who breaks. What have we made?
the subject of being back, I actually grew up in Altadena, right up the road. Um, this is a poem called The Pool, 1988. And it's going to be in a pattern. It's coming out 2014 from Ready and Press. Altadena summer, mustard, small, and sun, all yellow as I've become. For this year, I fear I'm fat, so I wear a t-shirt while I swim. Like a child, the t-shirt clings to me through noons submerged in August's gut. Some summers back, I was born and breath smacked into me. This year, the water smacks me, dyed in yellow, round into the pool, a single corn kernel sucked in a big blue mouth, sucked till bubbles leave my lips and go up. I peel off the shirt. It floats and drops a drowned child's ghost. I let chlorine in my eyes and throat. My cold lips hoist those first stiff hairs. Masts on a dark mouth swell up and on, and time whipping them on, whipping me, surging, something falls. This well of water, like too much time, swallowing me, all this water spitting me up, and childless as time, as history burning, whip, whip, September, whip, mustache. The miscarriage. A list of ten euphemisms for use in stage banter. One, foxes looted the coup. Two, God Mark your draft. Three, cherries damned the flu. Four, a kite fell in April. Five, an apple burst the nest. Six, some Seminoles fled the field. Seven, wagon crashed. Oh, you just saw the end of furrow. Four alarm eight, four alarm three days ago. And next, the doll factory. Nine, rosebush wheat is Father's Day. No cabbage leaf. Ten, red ants blitz the sugar bowl. The miscarriage, a magic trick. Hide a ball of red yarn beneath a woman's skirt. Plant her in the audience. Call her on stage as volunteer. Lay her on your table. Cover the woman with a sheet. Distract the viewers with pattern. Employ a slight between the woman's thighs. Pinch the yarn's loose end. Pull till it all trails off the table, pooling on the floor. Presto! The miscarriage, a silent film, to be shot without color. Title card, Peril at Red River. Exterior, Red River, 4.30 a.m., medium shot. Baby in hamper, rushing down river to edge of frame. Effects note, for baby, use sheets, wadded. Tracking shot, car racing the riverside. Interior, car, a wife and husband. Husband driving after baby. Wife cradling her belly. Title card. Will they make it in time? Exterior, 4.35 a.m. Long shot, waterfall, riverbed. The miscarriage, a bar joke. Pair of pals walks into a bar. First one says, yo, pal, why are you so down? Second replies, my wife just had a miscarriage. First guy says, I know exactly how you feel. I just had my girl get an abortion. Then a reverend, rabbi, and priest barge in. Get the fuck out of my joke, assholes! The miscarriage of poetic <laughs> form. Internal rhyme. Perfect. 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 Volta. Internal rhyme. Slant. Internal rhyme. Slant. Internal rhyme. Slant. Volta. Internal rhyme. Broken. Mm. After uh, the miscarriage, we, we, we stopped uh, trying for a little bit. And uh, eventually, though, we just uh, had to try again. And uh, my wife did manage to get pregnant. I say that like passively because we had scientific help. So my, 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 my guys were like in a little turkey baster and 
shot through two <laughs> of things into my wife in another room. Um, and, and this auspicious beginning led to a very uh, difficult pregnancy for my wife. I'm going to do two more poems. Uh, the first, which is home shows. She had a condition called hyperemesis. I don't know if people are familiar with that. Um, it's like uh, morning sickness on steroids. So she couldn't even drink water. Uh, one day she vomited maybe 40 times. She had to actually have an IV with fluid, um, with food nutrition uh, plugged into her so she could eat. And it's amazing when you think about this sort of thing, you realize, oh, this is what happens when people say, oh, they died in childbirth. This is what happens. She would have just died. She couldn't take in any nourishment. She would have died. Um, so while she was uh, uh, convalescing, uh, she watched home shows. Okay. Home shows. Belly swelling, overrun. Nicole regards crumbling homes. Each TV morning, their owners groan, we didn't know. Then men hammer holes in cellar walls. Women boot loose the window sills. Who did this wiring? Tuts a hard hat's yellow shell at a nest of knots and copper coils. This plumbing's a mess of running rust. Alls arrive behind the paint's smooth face. Nicole pukes blank juices, flushes her tubes with saline, fading, waking as each ruin tumbles into another. I want to see the end she murmurs, half in dream, when pickups gallop across the sod. Tools gleam in gutted rooms. Expected households beam, like new, like new. And finally, the other show she watched um, was a reality TV show that follows three sexy young female doctors who all work in LA, Good Samaritan Hospital, helping with difficult pregnancies. Um, it's called a delivery. <laughs> Um, and apparently because a, a black uh, couple that's having fertility issues is like finding a uniform, um, they selected us um, to uh, be featured on the show, um, which was a strange experience, reality TV show. So this is the last poem. I thank you so much for coming, for indulging me. Uh, this is the last poem. It's called In the End, They Were Born on TV. Uh -huh. One good reality TV. A couple wanted to be, to be, and TV wants the couple to be, to be on TV. The people from TV believe we'd be good TV because we had wanted to be, to be, and failed and now might. <laughs> to be good at TV, make like TV isn't. Make like living in our living room and the TV crew isn't there and the boom isn't there. Saving the woman from TV's voice that won't be there. Saying, tell us about the miscarriage in the teeming evening and some dog barking all we cannot hear. Two, would you be willing to be on TV? Mm. People in their house on TV are ghosts haunting the house haunting houses. Pregnant women, women in their houses on TV are haunted houses haunting a house haunting houses. Our living room, a set set for us ghosts to tell ghost stories on us. Would you be to be on TV? To be the we we were to be and the we we're to be to be on TV? The pregnant woman agrees to being a haunted house, haunting, flickering houses. Yes, okay, yeah, yes. Three, forms. In the waiting room for the doctor to TV the pregnant woman's insides out on a little TV on TV. Filling a form on TV is to flesh into words on a sheet fills up with you. Yes, yes, and turn to the receptionist, only to turn back to a ghost waiting to be officially haunted. Yes, a magazine rifles itself on TV. Loud pages, a startled parrot calls your name, then alighting on magazines and waddle the hall, you to be in the TV crew that isn't going to be there on TV, and the doctor and you are looking at her little TV on TV. The doctor says, see, there they are. Ghosts sound themselves out to flicker on the little TV. There they go to the pregnant woman scared to be such good TV. Four, cut. To one more time from the top yourself is to ta-da, breathe it. The curtain drops, plush guillotine. Would you talk about the miscarriage one more time? Ta-da! Five, all the little people out there. After she was a haunted house, before we haunted us for TV, then the pregnant woman watched TV, vomit on her teeth like sequins. 
Our TV stay pregnant with the people from TV's TV show, pregnant with haunted houses, wailing, then smiling, up into our living room. It helps, she said, of the people from TV's TV show. So yes to TV, to help, she said, the haunted houses and the living rooms. We said yes to help thousands of wailing houses. Six, only with some effort. The best ghosts trust they're not dead. No. No, the best ghosts know how not to be alive. They don't know how not to be alive. Like being good at TV. Inside the pregnant woman, the to-be of the family who failed, but now might be to be, we're good TV. But the we who failed, butterfingered and stuttered, held our hands like we just got them. We've been trying so long, we said. We can't believe it's finally happening. Seven, scheduled C-section, reality TV. And they're born made of meats on TV. <laughs> the doctor voilas them from the woman's red guts into the little punch bowls. The new mother says, I want to see them, my babies. The doctor shoves the new mother's guts back, express lane grosser. The demure camera, good TVs up to meet babies into wailing ghosts. Off the new mother's blood like spilled nail polish. Eight, ghost story. Did you know about dogs and ghosts? One barking at one's nothing. Nine, the miscarriage, exposition for reality TV. It helps to be on TV. We want to be good on TV. Okay, yes, to help we want to be good TV. Yeah, yes, please tell me about the miscarriage. The woman from TV wants good TV and something specific that gets you right in the tear to the eye to milk the pregnant woman's breasts heavy with good. We talk about the dead one on TV. It was horrible. The blood was everywhere that morning. A dog barks one more time from the top. It was horrible. The blood was everywhere. Call on, dog goes on, on to take three, and it was horrible. Boom, and the boom goes the barking in. Bad TV, bad TV. We want to help be good TV. Please tell me about the miscarriage one more time. It was 10. After the C-section was more like the doctor shoving the new mother's guts in, jilted lover packing a duffel. 11, talking about the miscarriage behind the scenes. Please tell me about the miscarriage. 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 The fifth take, and it was horrible. That's all. They call them takes. Again, we're robbed. Twelve. Did it help? Watching a house fill with haunting every room or help haunting the house. Watch! Here we are, an expanding family of ghosts. We aren't here, but yes, okay, yeah, yes. Did it help? And even now, no, yes, you were, they were born on TV. But before, it was horrible, wasn't it? Must have been. Please tell me about the miscarriage. I don't, for I don't know how not to be telling. And the dog hushed still and still and still.